Hey guys! So I'm coming to you today for kind of a little book talk. This is going to be spoiler free. It's just my thoughts on a very important book. That book is Challenger Deep by Neil Shusterman. Um, if you recognize that name, he wrote the Skinjacker series, the Unwind series. He's a very big YA author right now in kind of a masculine driven kind of magical realism type genre that he's kind of created for himself. When I heard this book was coming out, I was intrigued by it because I love his writing. It's extremely atmospheric. And then I looked into it more. <clears throat> this book is a work of fiction, but the main character is based off of Neil Shusterman's son and all of his dealings with mental illness. That's pretty much what I knew going into this book, and I knew that it was going to be rough. I knew that it was going to be heavy, and it was. This book is such a beautiful piece of literature about such a horrific topic. This book follows a 15 year old boy named Caden and his sense of reality and how it starts to slip and how he essentially delves into madness. And I don't mean to put that lightly or in a cliche way, but it's, it's what the book is about. This book is written in a really unique way. Every single chapter kind of switches between reality and a dreamlike state that you're not quite sure what's real and what's not. And also there are chapters where he is on a pirate ship and clearly it's, it's in his head and everything, but you start to see as the book goes on things that intertwine and things that mix in between the worlds of reality for him. This book is just done so, so well. It doesn't glamorize mental illness in any way. It does not sugarcoat anything. You are in his head, so you you understand what he's going through. And not that you can necessarily relate to what he's going through, but you can, you can see the thought process that leads from a normal thought into a neurotic paranoia tick that he gets. This book deals with it in such a realistic way that you can understand his point of view and his thought process and how he gets from point A to point B. And you can also understand what is occurring because this book is told in multiple perspectives. It switches between first person and second person and it does it seamlessly so you can fully comprehend what his reality is versus what you are understanding reality to actually be for him. And it does it flawlessly. Um, Neil Shusterman based all of this off of his experiences with his son, and I believe in the author's note he says that he had a friend who dealt with this. So all of his experiences, all of Caden, the main character's experiences, are extremely real. So all of his thoughts and all of his feelings are based on fact and based on real mental illness. So I just feel like this book is extremely important for everybody to read, whether you've dealt with mental illness yourself, you know somebody, it shows pretty much all the aspects of it and how hard it is and how heroic it is and how much it needs to be talked about. One of the more memorable lines in this book is something along the lines of dead kids are put on pedestals and mentally ill kids are shoved under the rug. And this, this brings light to those kids. It's so gripping and raw and real and I just feel like everybody should really read this. You'll take away so much from this book. It's so insightful and just oh, just read this book. It is so good. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna leave um, a link to my Goodreads page and I'll have a more thorough review on there. I usually review books more in depth in text form than in video form, but I just wanted to spread the word about this book. Um, it has since won the National Book Award, and I would just like to see this book in way more hands and way more people talking about it because this book, this book is good. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on this book. I highly, highly recommend it. It's going to be a rough read for you because it was for me, but it definitely leaves you with a book hangover. In the realest sense of the word, this book is rough but it's worth it. It's totally worth it. So that's going to be it for me this video. I hope you guys have an amazing night and I hope you guys are reading some really good books and I will see you next time. Bye.